Which well, guys got another video review here for you of some software. This one is going to be on Glary Utilities 5. This one has been requested on my forums, so I thought I'd make a quick video on Glary Utilities. Now, these have been out for a while. There's quite a few videos on uh, Glary Utilities, but I thought I'd make a quick video on it because I haven't made one. So this is the reason why I'm making this video and also it's been requested by one of my members so as you can see here you've got two versions you've got the pro version and the free version we're going to be taking a look at the free version uh, the link is up the top here I will put that in the description for you so let's open up uh, Glary Utilities as you can see here it's got a pretty simple user interface if you look here you've got some little buttons up the top here which says overview uh, one click maintenance and you can put your ticks into here if you wish uh, to what you want to do and what you don't want to do you just remove them if you wish and it will scan for issues you've got your advanced tools which gives you a, a review of all your tools that you can use and you can uh, see all these here listed and you can see there's quite a lot uh, packed into this little program so you've got anti-malware system tweaks disk space registry uh, cleaning tools and backup and defrag and restore privacy erase history shred files uh, wipe free space encrypt files and so on there's loads of stuff on on this actual program itself but we'll get more into that as we go through the video so on the left hand side here we've got turn on automatic maintenance this is just basically going to be running in the background and running uh, some maintenance on your system depending on the way you set it up Again, you've got erase privacy tracks on your Windows shutdown. So every time your window shuts down, it's going to scrub your temporary internet files and all that sort of stuff from the system. Uh, I'm not a great fan of that sort of stuff, but if you want to do it, then the option is there. Again, check for updates when program starts. Uh, turn on deep clean and fix. Again, that features there. And also check for software updates automatically gives you a Windows boot time and as you can see here mine's 23 seconds uh, I'm on Windows uh, 10 here uh, but as you can see here uh, this is a virtual machine by the way uh, your Windows boot time is very fast 91% of users are slower okay so that's a good sign you get your startup manager here which also is linked on these buttons down the bottom here you can see startup manager is here also You've got your current version, data, uh, database date and last update and also you've got your type which is your free version and your license if you upgrade to that. I'm not sure what the price is, you can check that out yourself. Um, but we'll start off with the startup manager. So startup manager is basically what starts up when your computer starts. So you can enable or disable those features if you wish. You can go start on programs, as you can see this is a, a fresh install. We've got OneDrive so if you wanted an enable or disable that you just use these little type uh, sliders here you just disable that and that will stop that booting up you can add a program you can also got these little features down here I'm not going to spend too much time on a lot of these because we've got quite a lot to cover again schedule tasks you can uh, schedule tasks as well you can just use these enable or disable depending on what you want to do you can also do undo changes so if you've made changes and something's not working right you can also un go back in and undo those changes plugins again you can see self-explanatory stuff here uh, application services and also windows services now be very careful when you're messing around with services um, just especially um, certain services might render the system uh, useless after you've uh, changed the service you might not be able to get on the internet and stuff like that uh, and and them sort of things so be very careful when enabling and disabling uh, certain areas there is some little information here like dhcp uh, client as you can see here ip addresses so if you know self-explanatory stuff but don't mess around in these areas if you don't know what you're doing just leave well alone okay and you've also got the undo changes if something uh, is not working properly and you've made a change to it so let's uh, close that off now the registry repair I'm not a great fan of these registry repair tools uh, to be honest I I'll try to steer clear of them sometimes they can do more damage than good it's what they're scrubbing and cleaning uh, that worries me um, as you can see here the list of areas that is going here Windows fonts and, and stuff like that um, 
so you can set this up how you like if you like using these types of things um, but you can see here the deep scanning feature is a paid version you have to pay for that okay uh, to use that deep scanning but again uh, personally I've never had the need to use these types of features and uh, it's found 65 problems already and yet this is a fresh install uh, so it's found some issues there and again uh, you can use this if you wish you just can do a rescan or repair your registry uh, ignore list manager and also you've got some uh, areas down here that you can make changes to as well so let me just close that off and move on to the next one disk cleanup again the this is built into windows as well probably not as advanced as this but you can see you can do uh, system temporary user temporary and stuff like that this is going to uh, clean up a little bit like c clean i suppose cleaning your browser and applications and stuff like that clean up all that junk um, these are normally okay they're not uh, really bad areas uh, prefetched areas and stuff like that you may want to do and stuff uh, but generally uh, these are okay normally to use to clean off any browser uh, history and stuff like that and any junk areas error report files and stuff like that i normally like to leave those alone just in case you wanted to see what's going on there but i mean you can uh, clean those out if you wish let's move on to the next area context menu manager uh, as you can see here you can make changes to this area you can do a new and a send to make changes to this area this is your context menu which is on your mouse here uh, as you can see when you right click on your mouse you can make changes that's your contact um, context menu as you can see this is the mouse sign again pretty useful um, disk space analyzer you click on this and it's going to do some uh, disk space analyzing of your drive and stuff um, if you wish to do that I'm going to move forward here uh, process manager again a little bit like uh, what you've got built into windows but again this is uh, built into one program so you've got end process block process how strong this is when it comes to malware i don't know because i haven't tested it but generally it's getting the program to run in the first place because malware will block that so how good is it to try to delete malware and stuff is another thing but if you wanted to use it just for normal general purpose uh, use like a uh, when you're using your windows in general then that all should be okay but as for malware removal i don't know how good it is for that but you can see here you've got in process just like you would do if you had a task manager open in windows again more details this is the windows version you can see pretty much you've got the same sort of thing here uh, but it's just built into one program again let's move on to the next area so we've got process manager uninstall manager i think this is quite a good little feature um if it's as you can see here it's just been installed uh, glary utilities and it's given us a little new sign here just lets us know that um this is a new program that's just been installed and uh just puts that little new uh, tag there again this will remove all the program and all the remnants i would have thought which just a little bit like revo uninstaller which is probably one of the, my go-to tools but again if you've got this built into one program it could come in quite handy to remove those uh, programs for you and there's lots of other stuff up the top here as you can see uninstall program batch uninstall and, and so on here okay so again sometimes uh, programs don't get removed properly from the uh, from the uninstall area and you can use this type of program to remove that as well so you've got your windows updates here really use programs large programs and so on on the left hand pane here as well so let me just close that off and move on to the next area software update this is for the software itself i'm going to skip that one um, browser assistant now this is going to be useful if you want to uh, make changes to your browser here you can see your current um, browser start page will be uh, go microsoft.com if you had malware issues you can always use this type of program to change this or maybe you just haven't got malware and you want to change your page you can do that here and uh, normally you can see the hijack restore area here this is what brow uh, browsers uh, get hijacked by uh, malware and stuff you can make changes here if you wanted to but again uh, you can use it for whatever purpose you want here uh, ie extra buttons uh, ie bho's again pretty useful stuff uh, inside this area how good it is under a malware sort of uh, issue then we'll have to take a look at that maybe in another video uh, block this item permanently remove this item and so on as you can see you can make changes here properties and so on let me move on here 
uh, tracks eraser again this is another one that i'm a bit dubious about using um, i don't know whether it's um, just doing a, a basic scan of the drive and cleaning that out which is not so much of a big problem it's if it's doing overwrites to the drive i.e uh, in in some advanced settings you can make changes to that um, scanning feature where you can do uh, you know seven overwrites three overwrites and so on on deletion and uh, that would make it impossible to get that data back uh, or so they say and uh, again i'm a bit dubious about using that sort of uh, stuff but general one time clean is okay so let me just clean uh, close that off there and you've also got this little tab here you can click on here and you can see malware remover uh, memory optimizer and registry defrag and so on there's some other areas here that you can click on uh, that you can run okay uh, these are other i think these are, are other programs by the looks of it once to install these uh, file encryptor and so on so i think these may be some other programs that you can uh, use file splitter and so on but just gives you shortcut links to the install maybe i'm not sure about that um, let me just try this registry defrag and see what that does no programs running okay just click ok here it's going to analyze that registry um, and then see if the registry is defragged uh, but we're just going to close it off but you can see you've got some other options here open file and delete uh, file and delete as well and stuff like that so let me just quickly close that off again uh, the program is pretty good it's got some really useful functionality so if that's so that's a glary utilities if you want to give it a bash then download it and have a look at it yourself um, if you want to go for the pro version by all means you can uh, go for the pro version i'm not sure how much it's going to cost uh, but you can check their website uh, for that and that information okay so that's uh, the review of glary utilities 5 my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit that like button also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when i upload new videos if you've got any problems with your computers or you've got any video requests like this guy did then you can head over to the forums and post on there and i'll do my best to make those videos for you uh, and again thanks again for hanging around guys and thanks for your continued support have a great weekend and i shall see you again in the next video bye for now